or outside the county um, clerk's office in downtown Fresno with two gentlemen who showed up shortly after the state Supreme Court ruling overturning California's same-sex marriage ban. These gentlemen spoke with Victor Salazar, um, hoping to uh, talk about the possibility of getting married this morning. Mark Benjamin, a B reporter, is speaking with them. Quite interesting uh, turnaround in, uh, in Well, you know that's it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting development. I can I can tell you that I, I, the idea that I sense that there's going to be an appeal because they, these folks feel like they have a, a near the Supreme Court decision. Um, my sense is that it will probably be appealed, but guys move them very quickly. Uh, obviously, there must be there has to be a reason for it. So. Well, we've been, uh, I mean, we've been a couple that has lived together for the past 15 years. We've had our own uh, marriage ceremony uh, 10 years ago. And we're obviously a committed couple. And we're working on adopting the child at this point in time. And we just see this as a basic civil rights issue. I don't think it's been anything but. And we have been domestic partners for close to 10 years. And that's been a step in the right direction, but it's still an instance of separate um, but equal. Mm -hmm. And it just does not cut much or any longer. And we don't want to have, but we don't want to be seen uh, differently uh, mm -hmm. through the eyes of the law any longer. It's, not, it's an issue of basic fairness. Again, if you're just joining us, we are outside the downtown Fresno County Clerk's Office. Mark Benjamin is interviewing two gentlemen who showed up hoping to get married. Well, uh, I heard about this by, probably about 10.30, and by 10.45, I was talking to Victor about it, and then 10, about 10.50, he's calling me saying, what's that guy's in, you know, right. in our oh, office? Sure. And, and so it was just the immediacy of it was pretty, um, pretty amazing in, in my eyes. Were you put into the thing? That no. this decision was going to occur today. It was a bit I ironic for us as well because um, we had a meeting downtown here with Fresno County this morning earlier, and so the fact that we both had the mornings off from work, and that this ruling happened to be today at 10 a.m., it it all kind of came into play. So, Serendipity. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. So. Now, what did you ask, uh, Mr. Salazar? What were you hoping could occur today? Uh, what were you? Sure. Well, we came in basically saying, you know, we understand this new court ruling is in place at 10 o'clock this morning, and uh, therefore we'd like to apply for a marriage link, uh, as any other couple would. Right. Um, given that this is suggesting that we should be treated equally. Right. And so we were hoping that we would be greeted uh, reasonably warmly, and that we would be uh, told that that would be fine. Yeah. I mean, what, what was what was the the Response, I guess. It sounds like he's saying he can't act. He's um, yeah. I, I think the ruling also indicates that they need uh, approximately 30 days to uh, process how this will impact the state if individuals who have already uh, filed for or registered domestic partnership if they would have to terminate those rights in order to apply for a marriage license and so on and so forth. So, you know, Mr. Salazar is. Hoping to, you know, he needs to dot all his I's and cross all his T's. And um, he said he'd get back to us within the next 15 minutes if we could at least apply for a marriage license and uh, at least get the ball rolling. To me, maybe I'm off here. If I was living with my girlfriend and we wanted to get married, I wouldn't have to have some sort of domestic partnership. Uh, application or whatever it is that you filled out first before you had to fill out a marriage license. Uh, well, why would in the right direction? Right, but, but why would you have to relinquish those rights? Well, or, yeah, well, I, I don't think you should. I, think I don't think you should. A, I, don't I can, think I can handle this. I, based on this, based on this ruling, I, I don't see why that would be the case. No, I don't think that should be the case at all. Bottom line is again, this is an issue of fairness and equality. 
Um, this is the Fresno County office here that we're visiting. I am a Fresno County, um, you know, I live in Fresno County. I'm a member. I pay my county taxes. I pay my state taxes. I right. expect to be treated equally, mm -hmm. and I expect my partner and my relationship to be treated uh, fairly. Do you feel that's occurred so, no. so far this morning? Well, no, I think that what's happened is that they need to sort of figure out how this decision gets implemented, and if that is the case, then I would expect to hear relatively soon how that will occur, and then we would come back down and actually file the correct paperwork for this to take place. Okay. Um, did you feel, but do you feel that it's, uh, that, that it's intentionally being, that these folks here are being intentionally unfair? I don't think that they're being intentionally unfair, but I don't think that there's a particularly welcoming um, feeling that comes from this office in regards to this issue, and I think that um, just again sort of speaks to the discrimination that you know inherent in this type of uh, an issue where people are separated. Now you said you got through um, a marriage ceremony. Where did you go under? Ceremony. We were in San Diego. We were living in San Diego at the time, okay. and we had about 60 friends and family come, and we had a local member of the clergy or gay and lesbian congregation as an officiant. Yeah, and it's a metropolitan community church. And it was very nice, but again, it does not bestow any benefits that would that are available to married couples. And you know, this is becoming more of a pressing issue for us as we right. start a family. Right. And we of course still filed. Uh, separately, right. have separate benefits. Yeah, federally, you can right. Yeah. Federally, you you know it's not recognized, and therefore you do not have the same uh, protection. When did the ceremony take place? About ten years ago, August first, nineteen ninety-eight. So how long have you been together? Fifteen, 15 years. years. No. Again, like you said, forced to file separately. You need to have separate insurance. Am I mm -hmm. correct on that? Um, Starting a family, so whoever would have the better insurance then would have the right. would would be the legal guardian. I assume is that correct, or you both are legal theoretically that would be the idea. But We're yeah. in the process, so I don't think that we know all the answers to how those. Right. But again, all this specific. But in my family, are, my wife and I, are, my wife that. and I right. have insurance together. Our kids are covered under the same insurance, right. not under my insurance or your insurance. So inherently, what you're saying here is that the process is unfair. Right. And it has been for yeah. many years. All right. Um, state of Massachusetts has been I think it's 2005, a couple of years. Um, they haven't had or seen any problems. And, uh, There's been no problem with civilization. Yeah, no problem with civilization and no high know. divorce rate. So it's probably the same divorce rate as after or less. The date is Thursday, May 15th. It's 11 after 11 a.m. We're in Fresno, California, downtown. Mark Benjamin on the left here, reporter for the Fresno Bee. Yeah. I just want to ask the gentleman for the number. This has been FresnoBee.com reporting. Um, uh, these two gentlemen will get their names for you. Uh, applied for a marriage license downtown Fresno, shortly after the California State Supreme Court ruling overturned same-sex marriage ban that had been in place. All right. Can I get your names one more time? Clark Willett. Clark Willett and Jeff Twitchell. Jeff Twitchell. Thank you, gentlemen, sure, for talking you. to us today. Good luck. Thank you, Steve.